Stacy Homestead. I'm Miss Stacy. So I have an aquaponics set up in my screen and porch. And what happens occasionally when the atmospheric pressure changes is I get an air gap in the line, which causes my secondary water tank to basically get emptied. So we're going to have to fix that. I'm going to show you what's going on. Don't you dare. Don't you dare try to come get me. Alright, so we just got done changing out the water. And so you see this yard around here, how there's holes everywhere? Well, that's from the ducks. The ground is hard panned, but except when you put water in and the water spills out and the ducks dig their beaks all around that water, creating holes in the earth but they're doing it trying to filter out microorganisms and bugs like ants and and really pulleys and earwigs so that's good but it just leaves my yard looking a mess so these aren't dog holes these are duck holes okie dokie well back to my aquaponics siphoning here so see that pipe how it goes up and down right here so it goes up and down this one. Well, it's not straight across, so I get an air gap right there. And when the atmospheric uh, pressure changes, when it's raining, it gets hot and then cold suddenly, air is released out of the water and collects up there, creating a gap, stop gap. So it's been happening for three years now. And when that happens, then the water has nowhere to go and it just spills out lowering my water level and then I have to come out here and jiggle siphon the air out of the air gap and these are um, these are swirl and filtration systems and um, basically housing microorganisms to convert the waste into nitrates for the plants to eat and then the plants eat it and it goes back so I'll go on to a deeper d detail about that but I need to solve this problem. I'm thinking about creating a venturi, which is an air line that introduces air into water, but it also lets air escape water. So I just am nervous about drilling into that. But, so that's a venturi right there. It sucks in air and introduces it into water and then aerates the water for fish. Well, I'm thinking about doing something similar like that to stop the air gap. I don't know if it'll work or not. If not, I'm going to have to put holes there and put a straight pipe, which I don't want to do. I've been putting it off for years. Anyways, that's that. Alright, ah, I'm jiggle siphoning again. Okay, got all the air out of that one. And then I have another one. I have air that goes in. I have two pipes that are kind of like that. I'm so silly. Alright, so we got that done. Now we just have to... We're done with that. Okay, so now I have to turn the hose on and put water in it to fill it back up. So here is the secondary water system. This is where I grow all my seeds actually so I just will sprout seeds down here and these just this floating grass system but this is where all the water siphons to well I'm filling it up now but the water level got really low because of the air gap and it's the pump tends to suck in air when that happens so here is where the water comes out see um, it's working now but that's what I had to do. I'm replanting, so I just took out all this. Took out all this, and I'm leaving my cabbage and a couple of my cabbage and my broccoli because I want them to seed so I can take the seeds and replant. And I'll, I still eat the leaves. And then I have um, a couple things I've taken out there and I have my aloe vera in that corner in a toolbox because I just like to sit crap everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, a kitty. This is a kitty. Kitty wants to see this.
This is, the cats actually love this area. They drink out of here because cats like running water. So it's perfect. So that's, that's my problem with my aquaponics right now. So I'm having to put a hose in the and filling up the the aquaponic water get it back up to in running because right now it's just sucking in air because the water level is too low um okie dokie well see y'all later or talk to you later bye